Hi guys, what's going on? How are you? <laughs> Welcome to my YouTube. There's a mirror here that is distracting me. It's showing me how beautiful I am in it and I'm just gonna take it away so that I don't keep getting distracted. How are you guys? What's going on? What's popping? How have you been day? What is this? I really I'm not gonna do this to myself because you know how I am. I don't know when I'm gonna shoot the video. I don't know when I'm going to post the video, but how's it been so far guys? Um Ramadan Mubarak. May all my teller give us you know the strength to finish the rest of the fasting and may this not be our last ramadan on earth may we live to see many 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 more ramadan in good health and wealth i mean <laughs> so how are you guys today um i really honestly don't know what i'm going to be talking about um as usual as i've been doing you know um since Ramadan has started, I'm just going to let the spirit, you know, blow and we'll see where the one mom of the chicken will follow. <laughs> I literally just finished shooting a video for my Instagram and of course I decided to use the opportunity to bless you, my lovely YouTube family, you know, some sort of video. And I did my makeup by myself, you know, I already took out the lashes. I'm like, wait, YouTube does deserve quality content like they do. So I'm not going to let a removed lash stop me plus the girl's beautiful anyways she, she's a garden beaut <laughs> she built <laughs> um yeah so what are we talking about today first you guys like my scarf i haven't been tying scarves for a really long time now i say two years or like a year i've just been like pro cap pro turban um you know but there used to be a time where i was a scarf lover i loved it so much i would put like layers on on layers upon layers and come up with like a beautiful design but all of a sudden i just got tired you know since like beautiful turbans you know came but now i just i'm sort of like into scarves again so i went to my scarf collection and i found this scarf that i've had for over five years and it still does look good but i'm thinking to do like a detox of my scarf and cap wardrobe i am too even i can't say the amount of scarves and cap that i have and I, I feel somehow saying it but there is a lot and i use only maybe two three four five like i use them but i don't like use it like often often so i'm thinking maybe you know de declutter my scarf closet that's what I wanted to say that I said detox, but yeah, you guys get me. But do you like this scarf? This one is very old. And one thing about my scarves is because I always invest in them, I they last. I literally will have to be the one to say, I don't want you again. I hardly have like scarves that like fade and stuff. Um, I got this one, I think, from Culture. There's also this new Instagram vendor, culture.co, in case you're interested. They have like really, really nice, durable scarves. There's also this vendor that I recently just found out on Instagram, Shop Z. Ooh, she has lovely, lovely, lovely scarves. Like the texture of her scarves, amazing. I I love it, and I plan on you know shopping more scarves from her. She has yummy scarves. So what should we talk about today, guys? Mm, let's talk. Oh look, Pfizer store is saying hi. That's her telephone. So Pfizer would play with everything apart from her toys. She would play with our phones and we're like okay let's get her like a phone like toy but girl she knows she knows what's real and what's not real but like yeah moving on today i think i want to talk about something that makes me feel so good hmm the inspiration is coming and that is giving giving does make me feel really good and I'm sharing this because perhaps maybe you've been, you know, feeling down or feeling somehow and you just want to feel good. Maybe what's missing is that act of um, alms giving or just giving somebody who needs it, somebody who can't repay you. Or you can't say can't because, you know, this world moves funny. You don't know what tomorrow is going to be like. But, you know, somebody who may not be able to repay you. It's such a beautiful feeling. It's such... I can't explain it. 
I can't I can't even explain it. And I think I understand why rich people always say money isn't everything. Sometimes it takes having, you know, being through what they've gone through for you to understand. There literally this there has been okay, so like five, ten years ago, there's this amount of money that I I thought was huge, you know. I thought was substantial it is it is substantial you know it's big but i thought that oh if i got that money i would be or oh, this i'll be that i'd be but i just realized that that's i'm trying not to use all my mouth to talk but and i'm trying not to say money is not everything because i understand that it is a lot of things is good you, a person should rather have money than not have money regardless of the fact that it's not everything money is not everything but money is important i understand so i'm trying not to like offend or say like words that would sound like irrational or insensitive but yeah you know so as i was saying that money that i thought was huge i happened to be in charge of it so to say and i realized that you know it didn't give me that fulfillment that i thought it would give me was i excited yeah but for how many it was, was maybe for like five minutes so imagine that i had i was not i had been living a miserable life because all oh, this particular money i must get it i must chase it i must make it only to not make that money and see that it just makes you feel like you would be excited but it doesn't last okay yes you have it okay you know but what truly gives a person fulfillment is just accepting life being beautiful as it is not waiting for that special moment or that special amount before you make that special amount live life to the fullest like just enjoy appreciate the things around you and give like it's more rewarding it's more the feeling that you get from giving to me is more beautiful than the feeling that you get from collecting and like i said especially when you're helping somebody who can help you or may not be able to help you back and it doesn't have to be much. I'm not saying give for a hundred thousand naira or fifty thousand naira. If that's what you have to give, then by all means. But I'm not saying that it has to be huge money. It's just buying water from the road, giving them one k, and ask them to keep the change. Just, just look at the smile on their face. Just beautiful moments like that. You know. Um, yeah, I just do, I don't want to be going deep and deep, but it's just just that scenario that I use because, like I don't know, I feel like I've said it in one of my videos. I feel like the real hustlers are, are hawkers, like people who hawk under the sun, under the and for how much really? For how much? Like that is God. I don't think it's what they are making that is sustaining them. It's just God that is just helping them go through. So every opportunity that I have. To just it's just beautiful honestly just just try it one day i don't know if you do it or you don't you know i try you can't just say oh why don't take money i don't really like that one so you just maybe buy 100 naira worth of stuff and give them 1000 or just give them 2000 or just because i heard that you know their gain on one water is like 100 bucks one of that so just maybe give them what their gain is for the day it's not much you know or what their gain is on one water you know so one time it happened with this really young boy he couldn't have been more than 12 you know so i did buy one water and i gave it to him <laughs> and he had two more on his head you know to go and because we were in traffic i still saw the boy he sold the he sold both waters despite 
both like the last two bottles of water despite having made way more do you get like he could have just gone he could have just opened the water and poured it on his head he could have just drank the water but he still despite having more he still sold that water in traffic and then ran after my car to say thank you after he, he had it's just beautiful feeling to know that I was just able to do that little thing. So, I mean, it's just it's, it's the simplest of things. You don't have, you don't even have to do too much. If you've been like going through stuff or like going through life, and there's just you just feel like there's one missing puzzle. Sometimes it's just arms. It's just giving, just giving somebody something, doing an act of kindness, just to give and watch how things will start to work out in your favor. You know. Um, I don't know if you guys have maybe other giving tips to share in the comment section i really i'm open to you know learning but that's one thing that i do that really 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 gives me joy it's so blissful and i start to share this with you guys perhaps you might want to experience something as blissful as that if i have more or if i discover more in the future i'll let you guys know do you guys like my makeup Ooh, because i do natural and i decided to play with colors on my lips oh, m u a b u e smart i be in my feet mad fam so apparently i can keep doing it what's wrong with you <laughs> Well, yeah, guys, um, that's about what I have to share with you guys today. Let's see if I have more stuff. I'm going to let you guys know. I'll be back. Okay, really, really love you guys. Until I come your way next time, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, by the way, if you're just joining us, welcome to our YouTube channel. Here we talk about just different things generally. We also talk about motherhood, we talk about beauty, we just talk about life, honestly. Um, so please before you leave, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Love you guys, you may kiss it. I kiss it. I kiss it. Mm, I think an idea might have just come for my next YouTube video. Let me go like to them before I forget. Bye guys. Love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. Mwah. Mm -hmm.